Okay, so... <clears throat> Minesweeper is a fun, classic game in which you clear mines from a map. So, how do you clear mines? Well, you use left-click to clear a s space. So, I left-click on the map and I clear a region. And when you clear it, all the spaces are free of mines. That's what you discovered. However, do not left click on a mine because if you do, you will lose. For example, I clicked on a mine and I lost. So, let's try this again. Instead of clicking on mines, you right click to mark them. So, from my experience, 111. This would, this specific green box would have a mine. Why? Because boxes with numbers indicate a number of mines around the box equals the number in the green boxes. So this cleared box with one in it indicates that there is one mine in the surrounding green boxes. But because there is only one green box, that means there can only be one mine in that green box. So therefore, I right click on it to mark it. Now, I click this specific box as one having a mine and this one as clear. The reasoning is because if I assign this as a mine, that means none of these boxes of one will have a mine anymore because technically they overlap due to one mine. One mine generates one in this box, one in this box, and one in this box, one in this box, and one in this box. So what does the two mean? The two means that there are two mines surrounding them. And since the two has two green boxes, that means there's those two green boxes must have a mine. And because all of the boxes surrounding these two mines have been fulfilled, uh, not fulfilled, but equal to the amount specified within the box, and the surrounding green boxes around them must be clear. So let's confirm this. One, that one's clear, that one's clear. Oh, this one may not be clear, but this one has to be clear. So what this means is that in these two green boxes, there are two mines, and the two number twos have been fulfilled by having two red mines, uh, have it by having two mines marked with a red flag. So let's look on this section. So because you have one mine marked with a red flag, this one does. This one implicates that there must be no mines in the surrounding boxes besides that single one mine because that one mine has already been marked so you click on them and you confirm it so that is correct and you see number three number three indicates three mines and because there are only three boxes three green boxes around them the last two mines the last two mines must be in the last two uh, green boxes because the third box has already been marked as having a mine okay so let's look to the left side because this box has a number two and there are only two green boxes, that means those two green boxes must have a mine, so I marked them. And by this being marked, it implicates that there are no more mines uh, in the rest of the green boxes around this number two. So I can click on this and it'll be safe, which means I can click on this as well because this one implicates that this previous green box has no mind. Now, I will just finish the rest of this to show that the rule I am following is right. So I'll mark this as having a mind. I'll clear this, which is right, which means these, this, these two has to be clear, and they are. There are ones, and this one shows a two. 
And because this one shows a 2, it's likely that this one has a mine because all three 2's share the single box, meaning that all three 2's are now could now be thought of as all 1's. And because these 2's have two boxes, they're considered as 0. And this 1 has already been used, so that means the rest surrounding these two numbers has to be cleared. And voila, a section has been cleared out. So now we only have one marker left. You can put more markers than there are mines, but what this implies is that one of your markers is incorrect and instead is a clear space. So because those two, because all the four twos have been cleared out and these twos only have one number left because one mine has taken up uh, one out of two possible areas that there's a mine, this one has to have a mine. So when I click this box, the game should end and I should win the game. There you go. That's how I play Minesweeper.